Good morning, Mon Moy. Today is April 11th. It is a day six on our schedule. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. <laughs> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Oh, oh sorry. It's not too late to order your 2018-2019 yearbook. The deadline for ordering online is Friday, April 12th. Which is tomorrow. If you're interested in ordering, go to ybpay.lifetouch.com and enter our school yearbook ID code 9900719. If you are unable to order or have any questions, see Ms. Kelly in the main office or Marina Blackstein. Attention seniors, we'll be watching a movie. For some reason, I cannot tell you what the movie is because it's illegal. But it has to do with someone from the office and someone named Emily. It'll start at 1 o'clock in the auditorium. Also, remember to vote for your favorite teacher for the Reflection Award. <clears throat> the uh, form was sent out to you last week by Mrs. Casey. Finally, if you're going to the Montreal trip, the final payment is due after break. We will, not I, but Mrs. Casey will email everyone with a fa final balance due. Attention all writers and all those interested in children's literature, Mr. Burkhead, Ms. Doyle, and Mr. Sapel are hosting a chance for you to meet, to listen to, and learn from an award-winning children's author named Yolanda Clark Jackson. Mr. Burkhead has kindly arranged for her to speak during both Jocelyn A and Jocelyn B in Mrs. Doyle's room to A237 on Monday, April 22nd. There's also a Jocelyn scheduling day, so please check with your advisory teacher and sign up for this awesome opportunity. Again, she'll be speaking with students during both Jocelyn A and B on the day we return from break. Don't forget to sign up and meet a fabulous young author. Yeah. Yeah, well, sounds exciting. Attention artists, Sanskript, our creative writing magazine, needs a cover for this year's edition. Would you like your cover design to be published on a magazine that's shared with the entire community, including libraries in the non monomoy district towns? Here's your chance to be, uh, here's your chance for your artistic talent to shine. If interested, please email or see Mrs. Doyle in A237 uh, to see what needs to be incorporated in the, in the, in the design. Yeah, it's, Anyway, uh, bring your work to Mrs. Doyle as soon as possible, as you can. No later than May 3rd. Stuttering there a bit, Mr. It's, you know, it's, it's a little tougher than it looks, you know, when you got to read off the screen. You know, well, you make fun of me a lot for it, so. But it's true. Yeah, okay. Peace is at hand. We'll be hosting our annual Peace Week from April 29th to May 3rd, including a visit from Carl Wilkins, Hero of the Rwanda Genocide, on May 1st. If you would like a Peace Week tie-dye t-shirt, please stop by Mr. Dixon's room for an order form. The shirts are $15 per order by Friday, April 12th. Not a Maggie. We'll be back, but not a <laughs> Thanks, Joey and Mr. Kaz. For weather today, there will be some icy snow with a mix of rain in places like Illinois and Wisconsin. On Cape, we will have clear skies. Now for the three-day forecast. Today we should have some sunny skies with a high of 47 and a low of 38. Friday we'll have some cloudy skies with a high of 51 and a low of 44. Saturday we'll have showers with a high of 58 and a low of 46. That's all for weather. Now back to Joey and Mr. Cass with more announcements. Hey, did you hear it? The Wizards are coming back. The Harlem Wizards. Yeah, October 17th and the class of 2022 is hosting again. This month we're kicking off with our selling sponsorship. If you or anyone you know owns a business and would like to purchase a sponsorship, please send a $100 check made out to MRSD and a business card to Mrs. Corgan. Still more to read. Oh, hey. Last year, the sponsorship covered a great deal of the down payment to host the players. We are hoping to continue that tradition this year. The more we raise, the less we pay, and the more fun we get to have. So go out and sell those sponsorships. Sounds fun. The MRHS Friends of Arts need your help. Photo is sponsoring Cool Blues, a fun make and take workshop to celebrate Art Week. Cool Blues is happening at Harwich Cultural Center on Saturday, April 27th from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. If you'd like to lend a hand and help the public with this free project, please contact Marina Millette Kelly at mmillettekelly at gmail.com. Helping hands are needed and there's no experience necessary. Monomoy is holding our annual wellness fair. Catch the wellness wave today, April 11th in the gym. Seniors will have the chance to visit the fair from 9.30 to 9.55.
Juniors, 9.55 to 10.20. Sophomores, 10.20, 10.45. Freshmen, 10.45 to 11.05. And last but not least, the eighth graders from 11.05 to 11.30. Hope to see you there. And for lunch, breakfast for lunch, whole mm. wheat pancakes, turkey sausage, and roasted sweet potatoes. Now to sports with Miles. Thanks, boys. Uh, yesterday, boys lacrosse beat Falmouth Academy 9-1. Girls lacrosse lost to Foundwood Academy 13 to 9. Softball beat Sturgis East 19 to 3. Baseball lost to Sturgis East 5 to 3. Boys tennis and beat Sturgis East 5 to 0. Girls tennis beat Sturgis East 4 to 1. Sailing lost to Sturgis East uh, 3 to 1. Girls golf lost to Barnstable 3 and 1 half to 2 and 1 half. Uh, tomorrow, baseball <laughs> plays against SJP at home. Softball plays at SJP. Boys and girls lacrosse play against SJP. Boys away and girls home. Boys and girls tennis <laughs> play Sturgis West. The boys are home and the girls are playing at four C's. <laughs> girls golf has a match against Nauset at home. Thanks, Monaway, and remember sharks. Stay sharky.